Where's your... Oh! <laughs> well, hey there, little fella. Now I know what you're thinking, and my clothes are not on backwards. My head is. Woo -hoo -hoo -hoo. Oh, I used to tell that one to my science students. <laughs> they didn't laugh either. Ah, anywho, what's your name, Fruithead? Well, Lewis, but... Lewis, huh? Well, say, Lewis, you haven't seen any teeth around here, have you? Teeth? My teeth. Uh... Been digging holes all day. Can't find them anywhere. All right, look, old man, I need to get back to the garage. Wilbur left me down there, and I wasn't supposed to leave, and these monsters, monsters? attacked me on the porch. There's no monsters on the porch, and any. Listen to me. Of course, I also didn't think there was a woodchuck living on my arm, and whoop, looky there. <laughs> Hope he ain't got rabies. Old man, I need to get to the garage. Well, sure, I'll get you there in a jiffy. I know a shortcut. Welcome to the garage. Well, I'm completely lost. Wake up, guys. We got work to do. We do. Well, I've got to get out the morning edition. And we've got to get out the breakfast edition. What's it say? Snap, crackle, pop. Ooh, what else? Snap, it's the snappiest sound to do. You gotta get cracking when crackle comes through. But there's no stopping once pop is popping. Snap, crackle, pop, talking just to you. Sounds good. Kellogg's Rice Krispies, the talking part of this complete breakfast. Mmm, good work, guys. When it comes to breakfast, we deliver. Better see what new suckers, <laughs> customers are coming in. We're going to have a party, a real happy party, with delicious hamburgers and onions, galore. Food and cake and candy, yum yum, and more. My favorite smell is food, glamour. We're going to have a party, a party, a party. We're going to have a party, rip the doo doo. Yep, we're gonna have a party, a party, a party. We're gonna have a party, skippity dee 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 doo. I'll just give him the red carpet treat. Ooh, I just love the red carpet treatment. Now ah, well, I'll give that runny little sailor shrimp the treat. <laughs> Quit fooling around and fill out these goodie lists. From luxurious penthouse pads to sumptuous hot tub hideaways. We searched the world for the perfect snack. And here in the gleaming kitchen of Mrs. Penny Bucksworth, we found it. Little Debbie snack cakes. Excellent taste, Mrs. Bucksworth. And single packs are so convenient to take along on your thing. Great taste, great variety, great value. Little Debbie has a snack for you. The perfect snack when you really must eat and run something just by trying to bake a cake. For instead of dessert, they wound up with an explosive that blew their stove clean to the moon. The nation was astounded. That cake batter must be a revolutionary rocket fuel. Grandma called it fudge cake. Bullwinkle was immediately made director of guided moussels, and he and Rocky set out to duplicate the recipe, which unfortunately had been torn in half by the explosion. But apparently not everybody wanted them to succeed. For when we left them last time, a scaly green hand was raising a sinister weapon and pointing it right at their heads. Hokey smoke, Bullwinkle! Look there! Mm -hmm. Now, Gibney? Not now, Clyde. Why not? I haven't scrooched anybody since we've been here. What are they, Rocky? I don't know. I've never seen anything like them. Maybe they're congressmen. Who... who are you? Put your hands over your head, please, and no sudden moves. Clyde here is very nervous. Yes, especially in this finger. Yeah, that's the worst one, too. What do you fellas want, anyway? Yeah, and how come the funny suits? Funny suits? They're out of this world. You're so right. I am? Yes. We're from the moon. The, the moon? moon? Yes, and if there's one thing we don't want, it's an invasion from Earth. Especially an invasion of tourists. We lead such a quiet life on the moon. Take a look at what we had to go through just to prepare for a visit here. Yeah, we had to practice dodging traffic. And listening to jukeboxes. And filling out forms. And breathing smog. And riding on subways. And regular bathing. Uh, it was awful. Poor suggestion to make. 
When cried with raw, good policy to have accident policy. Aha. Sayonara. And Ombre suggests same apply to Paris. I will deal with you, Monsieur Jitsu. Oh, no rough stuff, please. Oh, so sorry. Excuse me. Oh, so sorry. Excuse me. Hand are stripping. <coughs> Anyone get the number of that truck? Now I hurry your rickety sprit to stateroom of culprits and try research same. Not after I drop the boom on you, shorty. Like so. Oh, 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 oh. Excuse praise, but soft head needing hard share. Ah, oh, here our cabin. Also, here at the feet steps approaching. Had better hide. Quick, more. The satchel. Don't worry. It was right where we hit it. Open it. Also, hello. Observe, please. Priceless black pearl found reposing in satchel. So, most happy to place you under arrest. Come on. Let me have it. Hold it, please. Jiu-Jitsu calling Dick Tracy. Come in, Joe. Happy to report. Have situation under control. Good work, Joe. Six, two, and even. Over and out. Come on. Let me have it. Most happy to oblige. Oh, so sorry. Excuse, please. So sorry. Reach for searing, please. I have the drop on you now. Ah, uh, but not now. Fool. <laughs> Net to it. No one out with Paris. No more of your tricky tricks, Jitsu. Toss me that pearl. Oops. Ah, so, a butterfinger. Oh, no, no. Oh, mon dieu. Oh, son of a dear. Come back, my little beauty. Fortunate to catch escaping fur. Ah, stop thief. I will fix you. Oh, 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 oh no, no. Ah, coco -licious. Fact is, Bon, only pebbles let you spread 64 chocolatey pieces over your whole top. To rock your whole mouth. Yeah. Huh, what happens with 12? Not a good idea. 12's not enough, Fred. Cocoa Pebbles, a chocolatey part of a complete breakfast. Try not to sneeze, Bon. Cocoa Pebbles rocks your whole mouth. I have everything you need for a great spaghetti dinner. All in one package, nothing to add. Chef Boyardee completes spaghetti dinner with meat sauce. I have spaghetti and a rich sauce with meat, even zesty grated cheese. Give me 15 minutes and I'll give you a real Italian dinner. Ah, perfect. Chef Boyardee completes spaghetti dinner. Okay. Now. And now. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. Uh -huh. All right. Okay. <gasps> Is this thing working? <laughs> oh, it's working. <laughs> yummy, 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 yummy. Crazy good. Millions of kids start their day with Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. We are tigers! The answer's short and sweet. The great taste. Those crunchy flakes, perfectly coated with sweet frosting, are a welcome part of any balanced breakfast. And they have the one-of-a-kind taste kids have made their own. Kellogg's Frosted Flakes. They're more than good. They're great! <laughs> Crispy, fluffy, Eggo homestyle waffles. Part of this complete breakfast. Mm. Let go, my Eggo.
This is Professor Goody speaking to you from a diving bell 400 feet beneath the ocean, where I'm about to prepare some delicious Aunt Jemima frozen waffles just for me, not for that pesky waffle whipper. Waffle, waffle, waffle. I take them from the freezer, pop them into the toaster, and mmm, light, crisp, golden brown with Aunt Jemima syrup on them. Aunt Jemima waffles for kids who like a square meal for breakfast. Wallace, please stop! All right, Wallace, won't you join me? That's a waffle whiffer whiffing an Aunt Jemima waffle. They're in your grocer's freezer. Is there a waffle whiffer at your house? Everybody ought to have a funny bone. Everybody ought to have a funny bone. Because a Drake's funny bone is covered with chocolate like a candy bar. But there's another reason why. Everybody, Everybody ought to have a funny bone. <laughs> because when you take a bite, there's peanut butter cream, the kind that melts on your tongue, and laughs and laughs. Clear to the end. Don't you think? Everybody ought to have a funny bone or two. Everybody ought to have a funny bone. In a funny bone pack like this. They're the nuts. My new Drake's peanut buttery funny bones. Try them. Everybody ought to have a funny bone. Everybody ought to have a funny bone. Friends, are you hungry? I live right over there. Come on, I'll give you something to eat. Huh? What happened to him? Huh? How did you get those? Just sit down there. I'll get you some food. I hope you'll like what I have. <laughs> 